organize a set up action committee to achieve presidency for Southeast in 2023. Okay. Hello guys, and welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for always coming out here. If you are here for the first time, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Also click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much once again. I really do appreciate. Okay, let's get straight to the news. The Apis Igbo Social Cultural Organization organizing the Igbo worldwide has set up a political committee to assist the Southeast region to achieve its aim of having a Southeasterner South as president of Nigeria in 2023. This comes after a National Executive Council meeting of the organization in Enugu, the Enugu state capital. The meeting was presided over by the President General of Organizing Digbo Worldwide, Obasanjo. George Obiorzo and head in attendance delegate from many branches. The consideration of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and Namdekano was also discussed. Organizers said the time was ripe to have a Nigerian president of Southeast Extraction saying it will help foster unity. He said Nigerian nationalism is residing as ethno regional nationalism is growing automatically. It is time to rebuild and restore Nigerian nationalism and national spirit. As the national situation is today, it will require pan-Nigerians like Igbos to reinvigorate the nation's part to unity and the Southeast Igbo president of Nigeria in 2023 will be one of the most great critical but positive decisions of the nation's history because it is the right decision and an idea whose time has come. Regarding the continued detention of Kano, Hobi Ozo said, we have been consistent in asking for a political solution to the problem, including prerogative of mercy for Nambi Kano's freedom and amnesty. Once more, Indigbo are not secessionist or separatist. Igbo are prepared and deserved the presidency. It is politically differentiable and morally justifiable to release this. Or to realize this, I beg your pardon. The National Executive Council of Organizing Indigbo Worldwide has established the Political Action Committee to the chaired to be chaired by the President General Ambassador Professor George Obiozo, while the Secretary General Ambassador O.K. will serve as the Secretary. Full composition will be done soon. Meanwhile, these have got people talking. I don't think these people know anything about Nigerian politics. You cannot put regional president for God's sake. Politics is about winning hearts of people. It is not Igwe matters. <laughs> Committee of Friends for Wedding Ceremony, not for Igwe Youth. Go and sit down. Okay. 70 years men on a never open eye. Useless set of people work for the post and don't just sit and wait for its stupid people. Oh my God, this is ash. You people should support Biafra. That is the only way. Organizers will soon realize how bad sustaining fake one Nigeria is. They will be shamed. Like my post, if you stand for a referendum. This is useless entity. Jobless organization called Organizers War. They are the highest stroke of their life. Useless set of people. Okay, as you can see, the reactions are getting tougher. God, please help them to fail and fail woefully. They must understand Nigeria is not for them. Nigeria should understand the hand written on the wall. If Nigeria and the Igbo leaders, the organization, fail to convince some of us that he is still having little patience for the injustice being meted on the Igbos by making it possible for a Southeasterner to emerge as the president of Nigeria come 2023, then we have no option than to support and join the Biafra struggle.
committee. Oh my God, you demand it too difficult. Your demand is too difficult to be considered. Keeps pushing. One day your turn will come. But for now, I double because committee not on seat. Please don't take those clans with red cap serious. They don't represent or speak for 70 million of Southeast. Referendum is what Nigeria need, not election. Huh. So guys, these are reactions by some Nigerians. Or can I say Southeasterners who have reacted to this? The APIS Igbo Social Cultural Organization organizing the Igbo worldwide had set up a political committee to assist the Southeast region to achieve its aim of having a Southeasterner as Nigerian's president come 2023. This comes after a National Executive Council meeting of the organization in Enugu, the Enugu state capital. The meeting was presided over by the President General of Organizing Digbo Worldwide, Obasanjo George Wupiozo, and had in attendance delegate from many branches. And they also discussed the incarceration of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Nandekano. Oranese said the time was ripe to have a Nigerian president of the Southeast extraction, saying it will help foster unity. Regarding the Marzi Nandekano's detention, Oranese said, we have been consist consistent in asking for a political solution to the problem, including prerogative of mercy for Nandekano's freedom and amnesty. He said once more, Indigo are not secessionists or separatists. Igbos are prepared and deserve the presidency. It is politically differentiable and morally justifiable to realize this. The National Executive Council of Organizing Digbo Worldwide has established the Political Action Committee to be chaired by the President General Ambassador Professor George Ubiozo, while the Secretary General Ambassador Oke will serve as the Secretary. Full composition will be done soon. So what's your take concerning this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.